Hi, welcome back to Shotoku Tech. Well, I've got good news and I've got bad news. Yes, on my previous video, Helltech Laura 32 V3 I to C question, we did identify the I to C pins on the Helltech Laura 32 version 3 board, and we were able to verify that using the I to C scanner. This, of course, always generates more questions and comments. Somebody wants me to uh, attach an MPU 6050 and display the results on an OLED screen. Somebody else wants me to display the basically the status of the battery. So these are interesting questions and I'm working on that. And of course somebody else wants to know where are the SPI pins? Yes, <laughs> the SPI pins. A great question. And so I was sitting on the couch last night Watching Netflix, I had my laptop and I had the command prompt open and I was using the directory command with the slash s to recursively search for files. And I was looking at files like the include file for the OLED display, no pin numbers in there. Uh, Wire.h has no pin numbers in it. But Wire.h is in the Helltech ESP32 board support folder. And so I had a thought, I'm going to rummage around in that folder because somewhere I'm going to find the pin numbers for the version 3 Helltech ESP32 LoRa board. And I did. So if you install Arduino IDE by downloading it from the Arduino website on a Windows PC, this will be the correct path. It'll be your local disk, the user's folder, your profile name, app data, local Arduino 15 packages, Helltech ESP32, then you get hardware, ESP32 again, 007, and then there's this variance folder, and it contains uh, information about their various LoRa and Wi-Fi ESP32 products. Of course, we're interested in the Wi-Fi LoRa32 V3. Oh, and there's a file called pinsarduino.h. So let's go ahead and crack that open. And sure enough, this reads like it's all about the pins of the Helltech Laura 32 V3. This first section here feels like they're hinting about something. They're not coming right out and saying something. It looks like A to D pin is pin 20, uh, digital interrupt is pin 48, and that pin 46 has PMW. <laughs> I'm just guessing, but that's what it seems to be telling me. But then they come right out and say, okay, your serial pins are... 43 and 44. We already knew about the I to C pins, 41 and 42. Oh, look at that. There's SPI pins, 8, 9, 10, and 11. So that's the good news. We found the pin definition file that tells us the pin numbers on the Helltech LoRa 32 V3 board. And even down here, we get the pins for the OLED display itself. 21 is reset, and I to C for the OLED is 18 and 17. The onboard LED is 35, and VX is pin 36, and I think that that actually powers on the OLED display. Yeah, because to answer some of the other questions, I'm writing a sketch that's just the minimum amount of code that you need to display something on the OLED display, so stay tuned for that. But within that, they have a function VX on and VX off. So I'm assuming you've got to turn VX on for the OLED display to work. I'm, I'm just guessing. You can leave a comment down below and check me on that. But uh, let's go ahead and map these pins to our pin diagram. Okay. And I will leave a link to my GitHub page that has this pin diagram. I'll be updating that after this video. Okay, so here's the bad news. This is actually what is stamped on the bottom of the board. Yeah, I turned it upside down, photographed it, and then flipped it, and then made the little spreadsheet so I could have a pin diagram. Then I pasted the top view of the board so it would be correctly oriented. And TX and RX as serial were already stamped, so I added the pin number off to the side here. We already knew about the I to C pins, 41 and 42. That's great. Uh, pin 17 and 18 for the OLED aren't exposed, but the OLED reset is exposed. There's our onboard LED pin, and the VX pin is pin 36. The bad news is, when we look at the SPI pins, 
there are no pins on the board stamped 8, 9, 10, or 11. And I don't see any SPI specific markings on the bottom of the board. So, unfortunately, I get the feeling that SPI is just not exposed accessibly outside of wherever it's being used internally. I can only imagine it's being used to communicate with the LoRa chip itself. Uh, if you have more knowledge on that, leave a comment down below because my theory would be, could we change those pin definitions to any of the exposed GPIO pins that aren't already being used? I don't know. That's a, that's a question for you all. Comment down below what you think. I think it's just gonna break something if we change those, but uh, we'll see. Okay, so anyway, look for the link to my GitHub site. Uh, version 2 boards are still available on Amazon. I'll leave a link for version 2 boards in the description down below. It seems like the V3 board going from ESP32 to ESP32 S3 changed everything. Um, and so if you have better luck with the V2 boards, hey, more power to you. Yeah, like I say, I'll have the link to the diagram on my GitHub page. And... Go ahead and leave any comments down below. Give this video a like. And before you watch more of my Helltech LoRa videos, please click on subscribe. Thank you very much.